Boys, I'm going in. Tell me, Mrs. Oliver. With over 30,000 species of fish worldwide, from the tiny minnow to enormous sharks, fishing offers a plethora of opportunity. What a weapon <laughs> of a fish. And with a world champion and Team England All-Star. Like trying to get our lass out of bed. Multiple competition winning fishing fanatic. Got a big old mouth on him. Bye bye. On a hunt to catch some of them. You're joking. With help along the way. Yes. These piscatorial pioneers. That is a fish. I'm getting bit to death. Must be because I taste good. Take on a global fishing rod trip. Whether you're an experienced angler or complete novice, Scotland's varied landscapes and abundant water make it a prime destination for the boys to start their adventure. Have you two done much in Scotland before, fishing-wise? No. Uh, <laughs> no? What's in there? It's new to us all! So none of the boys have fished Scotland before. This is going to go well. Their first stop on the journey is the River Nith, to catch one of the best looking fish in Britain, the grayling. Hey! hey. <laughs> grayling! Here we are. Also known as the Lady of the Stream, these fish are some of the most stunning in the British Isles, and a two pound one would be considered an impressive specimen. The challenge is on. Hey, oh, this is a bit more Scottish, isn't it? Yeah! yeah. Despite being a grayling mecca, the River Niff is also home to salmon, sea trout, and brown trout, which might provide great sport, but are much more aggressive and could muscle their target out of the swim. Right then, chaps, have you got everything you need? Aye, apart from a two pound grayling, yes. <laughs> Has he got everything he needs? Look at him. <laughs> so we brought the fishing sink. Got my penny on. Yeah. Let's go. Good, Good luck, luck, mate. Keep in touch, yeah? Let's All the know. best, mate. See you soon. Catch me a two pound. Good dinner, lady. After seven hours in the van with the boys, I'm quite pleased to have a little bit of fresh air and my own space and peace and quiet. Because let's be honest, it was a bit noisy at times and the van did start smelling the farts. Matt and Rooney headed downstream towards the bridge, nearly a kilometre away. And Dean took the shorter route upstream. He's got like a good knack of watercraft. He'll wander up there and yeah. be like, mm, that looks in good. In the daddy hole. Yeah, he just <laughs> sees it though, doesn't he? He knows yeah, what he's looking for. He lives for it, mate. He yeah. lives for it. Well, ladies and gents, I think we might have found our first spot. From what I can see, it looks a bit pacier and a little bit shallower just upstream, but then drops off, widens out, and just a lot smoother. This is the sort of area that you're looking for if you're target engraving. And so this is where I'm going in first. The idea is to creep out into the stream with a technique called trotting, which is a method that involves running a float downstream in the flow whilst feeding maggots upstream to attract the grayling. For this style of fishing, you don't need complicated equipment and travelling light is key. A 13 foot rod balanced with a compact reel loaded with five pound mainline is a perfect setup. A float is attached to the line at approximately the depth of the river. Below this, there is some shot that acts as a weight to take the bait to the bottom, which is where hopefully the grayling will intercept it. Of course, I think the key is, river's flowing, any maggots that we throw in are going to drift down, yeah. and we want to make ours that's got the hook in them look as much like the feed as possible. That's it. So all the mechanical ends at the top and doing all the business to make the bottom end look as au naturel as possible. So Mr Maggot. Yeah can behave like this. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to end up in a fish's mouth. And Mr. Grayling's like this, I'm going to eat you, my God. As ever, Dean was in position first, eager to wet a line. Loads of this river looks beautiful, it looks perfectly fishable. And it looks like it should hold a load of fish, but you never really know until you get a fish, whether you're on them or not. So you just got to keep working and keep moving. Wonderful. I can think of worse places to be though. There. Oh, nice, yeah. Handy that. I'm just going to give it a little. Oh, that looks nice. Tell you what, conditions are nice for trotting. First run down's always a bit special, isn't it? 
It is, and a bit scary at the same time. My rig didn't go in the best. Oh, oh. Come on, Baba. Oh, see that? It's a bit suspicious, isn't it? Got one? Oh, I've only gone and got one. No, you're joking. No. Never. That's what it's called fishing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, first from Dad. <laughs> Did you see that little movement? Yeah, first? that must have been an indication before. That must have been yeah. a fish before. Anyway, shh. I hope it's a grayling, mate. Oh, right. If it is, it's got to be a good one. He's a oh. big fish. It's a grayling. It's is a grayling. It? I saw it's it? fin. I saw it's fin. It's a grayling. Oh. Oh, God, he's a big one. He's a big one. Have you got a life support unit on that back? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> That big rudder on top, they're so in control of the fight. Oh, look at him, he's right. a nice fish. I'm not going to rush this, I'm no. just going to wait for him to be tired. I'll just try and keep his head up, and then he can't use his big rudder. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> what a star! <laughs> That's wow. massive. Look at that for a fish. That's like a grayling, only bigger. They don't look anything like that when they're little. Look at that, it's fin. Look at yes. that. Rooney has only gone and fluked one on his first cast. A grayling of two pounds is a massive fish. And with this one only being a few ounces off three pounds, it is enormous. Look at, look at that. that for a fish. Can I just... Uh... Yeah, do the honours. Look at that. What a <laughs> weapon of a fish. It's an absolute warrior of a fish. I suppose we best uh, get her back and uh, swap over. That's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> How's that? I don't know, you know. I don't think this is a grayling. Oh, my fears of it being a trout is, I think that's probably the case. Look, oh, it's just come off. Unlucky Dean, better luck next time. Can I have a couple of grubs for the old hook? A couple please, of grubs, there you go, sir. Two red ones you caught him on, didn't you? Or her, whatever it was. Yeah. Hey, that was a good fish, weren't it? And that, one of the best fish I've ever seen. Thanks. Pressure on for me now. You caught, it you is. had one cast, one fish. You, put, you got your own rod out. Yeah, on yeah. your own gear. Yeah, you right. ready? You got your yeah. You happy? I'm on. All right, on. let's go. About that line, yeah. Yeah, about there. You, you just sort of let, let yeah, it go, just, didn't you? Just run through noise. I don't think your maggots be rolling about as they're going down. I think you want to be similar. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you want to be holding back too much. But hey, is that, is that a bite? I don't know. If it was, the fish has got no lips now. No Look. maggots left on. Oh, that was a bite. Do you think we've got some fish in our swim? I'll tell you what, our watercraft must be amazing. Yeah, better than Macy's. <laughs> wonder how he's getting on. I'm sort of missing him a bit. I'm not. Something sucked me maggot from down there. Because I've never really caught a big one. I don't know what to do when I hook one. I was watching you thinking. You sort of hang on for dear life, don't you? I think so, yeah. These sort of natural reactions take takes part. And then you've got someone in the background going, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just excited. <laughs> don't the male and the female ones have different... Uh, is it called a fin? Yeah, it's the dorsal fin. Dorsal that. fin? Dorsal fin. Um, I think... There's your maggots. Yeah, they're all right, them too. Not scared this time. So the, the male ones have a taller dorsal fin. Yeah. And it's shorter, isn't it? Yeah. Shorter and taller, I've Shorter read. and taller, yeah. and the female's got a longer and more rectangle. flowing rectangle. Yeah. Male's a bit square of fin, female's a bit more mm. rectangle. Learn good, something new every day, don't good you? Facts. Lovely facts, boys. There you go. You, you could probably hear my heart thumping out my bloody chest. <laughs> they fight so hard for their size and they also fight really dirty. Like they twist, turn, and when you get them in a bit closer, they start to jump. So they've got that big sow fin like dorsal fin and they do, they sort of, they sort of fight a little bit like game fish or pelagic fish as well. There it is, it's a good fish. It's a very good fish. 
It's a very good fish. It's, oh, it's in the net. <laughs> that was so ugly. I don't care. Oh, mate. This is why we come all the way to Scotland. And look at that for a grayling. The bigger the dorsal fin, the more chance it is of a male, and that is definitely a cockfish. Absolutely amazing. At two pounds, four ounces, it's another incredible fish. As time ticked by, Matt was still blanking. That were on. That were on and off. Oh, that were on and off, I'm telling you now. I felt it, I felt it. That were a fish. If not, it were a rock that felt alive. <laughs> a rock fish, maybe? That were a fish, that, I'm telling you. Hey. What? What a place to be, though, eh? Beautiful, isn't it? You know what I like about this kind of fishing as well? I'm going to sound like I'm making excuses, but even if you're not catching out, it's just nice watching a float go down, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it looks cool. Even I'm enjoying watching the float go down. And you're doing it so well, I must admit. Just don't think so. Ooh. Bite? No? No. Mm. <laughs> oh, go on. How good is this? It's mint, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it mint? Yeah. I don't know if it is a grayling, you know. No! <laughs> I thought that was it. I thought that was it. rod hogger. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice trout. You know, like the colours. Look at that. Incredible fish. That so is beautiful, aren't they? That is very cool. Nicely held as well. Very calm, isn't it? He is very calm. Put him back. Yeah, he won't be calm then. Watch. Although a lovely trout, <laughs> it's not the target species. But upstream, Dean was in again. There you go. Is that a fish? That's a fish. I think that's quite big. I mean, you should like that, but I hate it. I hate it. There it goes, downstream. Come on, you need a bigger net, Dino. <laughs> yes. Look at that. As the sun goes down over the hills, two pounds, 10 ounces of Scottish magic. That is incredible, what a place. Absolutely made up with this. That is perfect. A stunning way to end the day. With mission complete, Dean headed downstream to see how Rooney and Matt had got on. Well, chaps, how's your day been? Boys, I have been a bit of a blanker. <laughs> have you really? Yeah. This perfectly good grayling river, have you made it look like there's no grayling I've in I've made there? it look impossible, to be honest with you. Really? <laughs> yeah, my feet are cold, my fingers are numb, my arms are aching. It ain't been easy, though, has it? No. 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 It's been good, though. I'm ready for a beer. And a cuddle. A big cuddle. <laughs> Come, Come on, on It is only the start <laughs> of the adventure. True. Next time on the Rod Trip, the boys head deeper into Scotland to explore the Highlands. Rooney hooks a monster. It's a big old pike. Matt smiles. I'm in the element here. A lot. I just love him. Dean sees a ghost. <gasps> they take on more angling challenges. Bye-bye. In some spectacular places. But will one of the rarest fish in the UK... That's got a red belly. ..make an appearance? It's got a red belly. <laughs>